Yeah, seeing um, against Michigan, against every team we played so far that that I've played in, just seeing the plays that I can finish um, differently and um, some incompletions that could have could have gone somewhere else um, or could have could have been better throws, but just plays that I can execute on and um, get more positive results from it. What were the biggest talking points during the bye? A big big part of it was just going back on ourselves and seeing what we need to do better. And, um, you know, Coach Bud Meyer, Coach Chris, they helped us get cut-ups of us playing earlier in the season. And, um, you know, you're not really game planning like you would be for a, for a game on Saturday since you didn't have one. It's more just working on getting better and focusing on practice. Alex, you, you know, Coach Chris and a lot of your teammates have described you as being poised. I think that's the one word they've always used about you. But, I mean, you're going up against number two team in the country. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Um, yeah, I think we're all excited. It's going to be an awesome atmosphere here at night in front of our fans. Um, you know, I can't wait to play that, and I also can't wait to prepare and um, practice every day this week. So not getting too high or too low, but just, just kind of looking forward to it. How much does it help you that this game's at home as opposed to the last time when it was at Michigan in front of that hostile environment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're both, regardless of where you're playing, you're, you're playing the game. It shouldn't, shouldn't affect you too much, but when you get to play in front of your fans, here at home at night, it's a it's an awesome atmosphere. It's a little different than uh, the past couple of weeks, so we can't wait for it. Uh, you know, you haven't been here long, but what have you kind of heard about the atmosphere at Camp Randall when, when the lights are on at night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first the one I got to experience was last year at Hawaii, but um, obviously I wasn't on the field, wasn't playing. But you know, from what I've experienced, it's awesome, and um, you know everybody talks about it. it's a little bit different here at night, and um, I just can't wait to get in front of our fans again. What stands out about Ohio State's defense, Alex, from the film that you've made? I think a big thing with um, a lot of the, the bigger programs, their teams are not going to do tons of different looks, but they're going to be really good at what they're running. And obviously they've got some, some good defensive players that they trust in one-on-one uh, -on -one coverage, just like Michigan, just like Michigan State. So you can expect a little bit more um, of that kind of stuff. Uh, no, I think I think it came at a good time, and it was good to just get back and focus on ourselves, and um, to make improvements and get our bodies back, get healthy, and um, rest it up for this week. Alex, have you guys talked about what could be at stake if you were able to win this game? Um, that all, all the goals that were in place before Michigan are still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that has a that has a big thing to do to do with it, and um, you know we that one loss doesn't derail our season or put us back anywhere. Um, we still have opportunities ahead of us, and that's, that's a big thing for us. Alex, quarterbacks are praised and criticized quite a bit. Are you your worst critic, would you say? I would say so. I know if I'm doing something wrong, I usually don't need somebody to tell me that I'm, that I'm doing it. And, you know, everything you hear after a game, like we had last week, I already, um, you know, I already felt all, that, all those things. And um, I feel like I do a pretty good job of not letting other people influence me, what I think of myself, what are what my abilities are. I know what I can do. So, um, you know, hearing all that outside, um, all those outside things doesn't really affect me too much. It probably makes you more excited even to, to get back out there and play the way you feel you're capable of playing? Yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, whether you win or lose, you're going to get reaction from the fans and other teams, and sometimes it's going to be good, sometimes it's going to be bad, but um, you can't really let that affect you too much. If you're, if you're your worst critic, who's your second worst? Someone in your family? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, people will definitely tell you different things. No one's going to get too hard on you, but you definitely want some people to, to tell you when you're doing something wrong.